So this is my 16 gallon water box in the kitchen. There's the albino quarries. I've got to put up a video. They spawned a while back in this corner right here and on the other side on the filter and two survived and that's because of me because I really screwed up. There was a hatch of about 60 or more and, and I just I just dropped the ball and I feel really bad about it. This tank's got uh, Anubius in it and look at what's going on in the leaves. And then also Java Fern. And again, look what's going on on the leaves. And I'm wondering if anybody has any idea. See what happens eventually. They uh, they become perforated like that one. Uh, get my finger in there. Like that one there. Uh, they start out with like a rusty brown spot. Like uh, the one here. And then the all the the rusty brown spots die out completely, all the tissue disappears, and they become perforated. And I am not sure what's causing it. I fertilize every week, week and a half or so. And right now, I used to use the API Leaf Zone. Now I'm using the Aquarium Co-op Easy Green. Um, and they're growing like gangbusters. And I'm constantly picking little, um, you know, little fernlets out of here. Uh, they, they just float off, so I pick them and throw them in another tank. But I have no idea why um, why this is happening to these. Oh, and I forgot Vanellope von Schwitz also lives in this tank. And a whole bunch of Neocaridina. And did I say uh, uh, three uh, um, clown plecos? And I think there are 18 neon tetras. There's a couple of them right there. Used to be 21 and I had three that decided they didn't like it in the tank and next thing you know, I found them on the floor. Not my favorite thing. I'm gonna walk around the other side and just keep it on. I'm not gonna edit this out. I'm just gonna just run with it because it's kind of impromptu. And here's the other side. Yeah, the, the first side was the side looking over the kitchen sink and this is the other side and pardon the glare. Um, there's this big, let's see if I can block the glare a little. Maybe not. What we need are some blinds over the slide glass door. Um, that's a really big crypt right there that's spread um, all the way across this front quarter of the tank. One turned into, God, I don't know, maybe 10. And then also look at this Anubius, same things going on. Uh, and also seeing it on this Amazon sword. And I'm not noticing it in any other tanks, just I don't think so. I was thinking it was the shrimp feeding on the leaves, but I don't really know. I would love to hear any suggestions. Um, that, that would really be cool. I'd like to get this to where they look good. So I don't know if we're missing a, a, a micronutrient maybe um, that we need to uh, solve this problem. Or if this is maybe, you know, and I know some ferns will do this and other plants will do They'll get a, a bacterial leaf spots and there's really no cure for a lot of those. Um, but who knows? And then the hydrocodal Japan here is taken off across the tank again. But anyway, um, I'd really appreciate any, uh, you know, any of your feedback. There's a couple dead fronds down there of the, the fern. Uh, and you can see how they've just been totally perforated. Um, but yeah, uh, any feedback would be great. Maybe we can come up with a solution between all of us. And I also always, I'd really appreciate that. And also, as always, like I always say, tanks for looking.